Hi everyone and thank you so much for stopping by. So if you have perused my channel before or if you know me at all, um, you may know that I have been painting shoes for a little over a year and a half now and I've had an Etsy shop for about six months or so. These guys were the very first shoes that I've painted on my channel. Um, I'll leave a card if you guys want to check that out. Um, as you can see, they have been very, very loved and they are also in some need of repairs. <laughs> So with that, I get a lot of questions regarding, you know, how I paint my shoes, what kind of materials I use, um, do I use sealers, do I use special paint, special whatever to get them to look the way that they do. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to create a couple of videos to hopefully address some of those questions. So just my luck, I actually just got an order from my Etsy shop a couple days ago. Since I have to work on this order anyway, I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of break down my process a bit and just kind of show you guys step by step what I do and the materials that I use. So this video is going to be all about prep, what I do to the shoes leading up to the actual fun part. So like all the detail work, all the actual painting, all those other things. There's several steps that I like to take before I start doing any of those things and that's given me really great, consistent, high quality results. So if you're still interested in learning more about how I create my shoes, well then just keep on watching. Alrighty, enough of the chit chat. Let's go ahead and get to work prepping these shoes. So first and foremost, I always use genuine Converse All-Stars. Um, for most of my designs, I use high tops. I've used low tops in other projects as well, but I always like to use high tops just because there's more room for them. And I prefer to use Converse just because, in my opinion, they're the best quality shoe to work with. I know there's plenty of knockoff brands, there's like Target brand um, sneakers like this, there's Walmart brands which are only like 10 or 15 dollars, but I just, I really don't like to sacrifice quality when it comes to these shoes. Um, so for those reasons, I always prefer to use uh, Converse All-Stars. So the very first thing that I do to prep these shoes for painting is remove the laces. And of course, this is for obvious reasons. I don't want the laces to get ruined, I don't want them to get stained. Um, so before I touch any kind of paint, I take the laces out like so. And then after I am finished delacing the shoes, um, I always like to store the laces in the box that they came in. This is really helpful for me when I have multiple orders, that way I can just kind of keep track of which laces belong to which shoes. Alright, so now that we have taken our laces out, we now need to protect the toe caps and the white soles of these shoes. So for that, I always prefer to use blue scotch painter's tape. And by the way, I'm going to list all the materials that I use down in the description box. And I prefer to use blue painter's tape because it sticks really well and gives you a nice clean edge if you paint over it, but it also doesn't leave any residue. It's not sticky. It's not um, difficult to remove. Um, but it does a really, really great job with protecting the white soles because nothing is worse than getting paint on these soles. It is so hard to get it off once it dries. Um, and so with that, when you tape up shoes like this, you are always better off using lots and lots of small pieces rather than trying to use one big piece of tape and just tape it all the way around. I would know, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> so um, when you tape up your soles, just take your time, really make sure to press into the seam where the canvas and the rubber meet. There's a little lip over the side there, so you just have to make sure to press really hard and press all the way down to make sure that it forms a nice seal between the canvas and the rubber. And then you just rinse and repeat for the other shoe. All right, so now that the soles are all taped up, now we need to stuff the shoes. And for this, I just use a handful of plastic grocery bags, so jewel bags or Target bags or whatever bags you have laying around the house. And the reason why I do this is because it gives me a nice stiff surface to work with. Um, if I just left the shoes as they were, the fabric would just be kind of flopping around and it would be really difficult for me to get 
um, any good brush work done or any good details done. So this is just a quick and easy way to give myself a good surface to work on that I can easily use a brush or a pencil with. Alrighty, so the very last step that we need to take in this prepping process is to prime our shoes. And for this, I am using some black fabric paint. These are going to be winter soldier shoes, so the color scheme is mostly black and gray, hence why I'm using this color as my base. And you're also going to need some kind of crappy throwaway paintbrush. Fabric paint is incredibly difficult to get out of brushes, so I highly suggest using something that you don't mind getting damaged or something that you don't mind throwing away. So from here, I just scoop a very generous amount of paint onto my brush, and then I just start smothering the, um, the outside of the shoe with this fabric paint. In this particular case, I am completely covering the shoe in paint, and so I am painting the entire thing. But if I was doing something similar to like the Captain America shield or something like that, I would only paint that part of the shoe, if that makes sense. So um, depending on what you wanna do, you could either paint the entire surface like I'm doing here or just paint small increments of these shoes. So the biggest reason why you need to prime your shoes is because you need to give the paint a surface to sit on. Um, a big problem that a lot of people find when they try to paint shoes is that they try to paint a light color onto dark shoes like these, um, or any color really for that matter, and the fabric just absorbs most of the paint. And then you have to paint on layers and layers and layers of paint to get the desired color that you want. And so when you prime these shoes, um, you completely eliminate that problem. It completely seals the fabric. And so then once it dries and you start painting on it, um, you get the exact color and the exact tones that you want them to be. And then once you're finished priming the designated areas on your shoes, you want to wait a full 24 hours for the fabric paint to completely dry and cure before you start drawing or painting on them. All right, and that is just about it for how I prep my shoes for painting. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and informative, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Um, and I'm going to keep posting videos as I continue to work on these shoes. I think the next video is probably going to just be about how I draw on the shoes and how I transfer the design on there. And I think after that, then I'll make a third one um, talking about how I do the actual painting and the details and all that other fun stuff. So if you want to keep up with these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. It'll be a huge, huge help for me and I would very, very much appreciate it. And like I said earlier, I'm going to leave links for all the materials that I use down in the description. And I'm also going to leave a link to my Etsy shop in case you'd like to check that out and maybe place an order. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of this priming process. Once again, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.